Net 136 OS2 Linux 25th. We're in our online. Okay, online. So I had students log in to here. Work. Let me see here. Let me write that over here. Work server 3. Yeah. Is that this address? Now, if you've never logged in, this would be the password. But the first time you log in, it forces you to do a new password. Now, for the students who couldn't get in, I reset their password. So if you have trouble getting in, let me know. The user IDs are the same. For example, mine would be D-I-R-K-S-E-N-M. You get it? So I've got a capital D and the rest of my name, my first initial capitalized. And then I showed the students a list the other day in class because some of them, you know, there's some exceptions like Chris McDowell and Matt O'Neill. I think McDowell has um, two capitalized, the M and then the D, and O'Neill, I believe, the O and the N. Uh, those might be the only two exceptions. <clears throat> we should have <clears throat> we should have users for the students. The students should be able to log in. Does that make sense? And then you need to have some groups with your users or your students. They should be in different groups. If you can't think of anything, you can do one sales and one marketing. Now you'll have to somehow publish so the other students can log in. So you got to think about how you're going to publish that. The backup I mentioned, you can just, if you want to, you can just back up a couple of the students and then you need to be working on permissions, allowing different groups to do different things on your server. <clears throat> now you might say, well, I'm not sure about any of that. Well, if you're not sure, then follow the assignment and make sure you do everything that's in the assignment or something that matches the assignment. That's a uh, class work five class work four should be your uh, backup and we actually have to have a backup with a script and a chrome tab okay you gotta figure those things all out <clears throat> We didn't spend much time on this, but um, we can a little more next week. You can look at the defaults for your user ad. You can look at your defaults for your user ad. And then you can change those if you wanted to use this in a script. You want to use it in a script. And then I also mentioned the backup. Make sure that is well documented. So when you turn it in this time, I will easily be able to find where the script is that does the backup, um, what directory, to what location, etc., etc., etc. How often what data you're backing up, why, okay. <clears throat> then that's, that's it. Uh, reminder, reminder. Office Zoom hour, the office hour, brought to you by Zoom.
Yeah, I try to have Zoom on. If for some reason, you know, you need to get a hold of me and it's outside office hours, you can't just log into Zoom. We don't leave Zoom on 24-7 for people to log in. You will need to contact me and set up a Zoom session. I would use text. I look at text a little more than I look at emails. Either one would do. That is it.